Good day, grade 7 students. This video is all about literature in the period of apprenticeship. Our learning targets for the day are I can identify distinguishing features of literature in the Philippine period of apprenticeship and explain how a selection may be influenced by culture, history, environment, or other factors. In the past, Philippine literature was dominated by folk literature and Asian tradition. But when the colonizers came and introduced to us different language from our native tongue, it consequently brought a lot of changes in our forms of literature, with our current literature being largely influenced by Western style. Let's first learn about the history of the Philippines during the period of apprenticeship. After the Spanish colonial era, the country was soon colonized by the Americans. This was 1898-1945. The period of apprenticeship in Philippine literature was largely influenced by two significant heritage the Filipinos acquired from the Americans, free education and the English language, which became the official medium of instruction in public schools. The Filipinos during the American period were given proper education and were encouraged to be more participative in the American government and society through the use of the English language. Naturally, with the Filipinos enjoying these privileges as they learned the English language, it was inevitable that they got acquainted and later on adapted to the American culture that was slowly being integrated in Philippine culture. In the period of apprenticeship, Philippine literature flourished despite the efforts of the Americans to squelch Filipino writers. The most favored literary form of most Filipino writers in both English and Filipino languages is the short story. In reading literary works under the period of apprenticeship, it is necessary to remember that Filipinos are still under the colony of America. Therefore, the commonly featured theme of the literary works are all about the story of discord among characters and the conflict between man and his circumstance. Also, it reflected that Filipino struggles for freedom and sovereignty against a colonizer. The period of 1910 to 1935 is generally called the period of apprenticeship or imitation. One of the cultural aspects of the Philippines that was heavily influenced by American culture is its literature. The Filipino writers instinctively emulated the trending American literary style and models. Likewise, the University of the Philippines founded in 1908 become the breeding ground of an elite group of writers of Philippine literature in English, which further flourished with the foundation of the UP. However, while writing in a second song, many Filipino writers still wrote about Filipino identity, culture, and social realities. Here are the distinguishing features of literature in the period of apprenticeship. First is fiction. Short stories during this period were based on romantic tales of the past with legendary figures. Second is mainly imitated. Filipino fictionists strictly patterned their native techniques and style after the popular American writers at that time. They imitated the plots and the themes from American and other foreign sources. Lastly, literature is also based on classic themes such as poverty, Lamentations on the conditions of the country, search of identity, and nostalgia. Here are some prominent writers in the period of apprenticeship. Ikashano Kalalang, Arturo Rotor, Lidia Villanueva, Manuel Argilia, Hernando Ocampo, Sinai Hamada, and Paz Marquez Benitez are short story writers began publishing stories no longer imitated of American models 
and begun publishing stories manifesting both skilled use of the language and a keen Filipino sensibility. The most significant short story produced during this period was Red Stars by Paz Marquez Benitez. Let us know more about Paz Marquez Benitez. She authored the first Filipino modern English language short story Dead Stars. She is beloved mentor to the first generation of Filipino writers in English and was among the first generation of Filipinos trained in the American educational system which used English as the medium of instruction. She taught at the University of the Philippines English Department from 1916 to 1951, acquiring a reputation as an outstanding teacher. In 1919, she founded Women's Home Journal, the first women's magazine in the country. In 1928, she compiled the Filipino love stories, reportedly the first anthology of the Philippine stories in English by Filipinos, from the works of her students. The annually held Paz Marquez Benitez Lectures Ateneo honors her memory by focusing on the contributions of Filipino women writers to Philippine literature in English language. Let's dig deeper about the story Dead Stars. It was published in the Philippine Herald on September 20, 1925, and it is considered the first modern short story written in English by a Filipino. The story revolves around Alfredo Salazar and two women, Esperanza, his fiancée for four years, and a young girl from out of town named Julia Salas. Alfredo is committed to marrying Esperanza, but he started having second thoughts about his feelings when he met Julia in the judge's house. The story is about love and responsibilities, with conveying theme that pertains to forbidden love. It says that forbidden love is only apparent and it bains haunt the person until such time that he realizes his faults. It also symbolizes a dream for something that is non-existent. She was his dream, his star. He thought he's in love, but like a dead star which is so far away and whose shine could be the leftover troubling light from it, he was a long way from getting the girl and he realized that he is no longer attracted to her. That's it for this video. I hope you can now identify distinguishing features of literature in the Philippine period of apprenticeship and explain how a selection may be influenced by culture, history, environment, or other factors. Thanks for watching!